looking ahead, Gulfport leaders are set to consider the future of the old William Carey University property that's been left vacant since Hurricane Katrina. Tonight, Amber Spradley brings us a preview of what could come. Elliot Holmes is hoping to transform this roughly 20 acres into a brand new subdivision, potentially boasting about 78 homes. We are staying with the southern Mississippi heritage style because we think it suits what's on the coast. Founder and President Brandon Elliott says if it's approved, it could be another year before the team breaks ground. But the first step is addressing the existing residents' concerns. As a land developer, the worst part of the job is to have to tell people, you know, there's going to be change coming. We're not against this, but it's too dense. Carol McDaniel lives right next door to the proposed site on Beach Boulevard. We all, after Katrina, dug in, redid, spent more money than we spent the first time we built because we loved it up here and the homes are all beautiful. You can now spot signs like these in several of their yards. McDaniel says she and her neighbors worry the final product will resemble some of Elliot's previous work, like this located about two miles east on Highway 90. As we saw these other developments he's doing, that's Basically, if you look at his layouts, that's what they're going to be. There are three design houses. The design layout shows about five beachfront homes. Elliot says his plan for those will not be a duplicated style, but will each have their own character. The beachfront houses that we have are going to be different than anything that we have. They're designed specific for that lot. One of the biggest concerns we've had about the development in this area stems from the condition of our frontage road. The more dense these new subdivisions are that come into our area, the more at risk our families are at. According to resident Beth Krupa, as well as Elliot, the current condition of the access road is a problem. Krupa says it's narrow and poorly striped. The curbs jet out, it lacks a traffic signal, and recent piping in the area left a major hole in the center. Is it feasible for a city to just come and say, okay, let's put a sidewalk down an entire road? I don't know, but if you put 74 more houses in and create the tax base, now the city can afford to do something like that. We're putting a sidewalk in front of the development so that we can try to start the movement of creating walkability. In Gulfport, Amber Spradley, WLOX News Now. The public hearing starts at 4.30 tomorrow afternoon at the Gulfport Council Chambers.